when I wrote that line, I wasn't sure it was going to be true. Publishing <laughs> 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 projects are always among my favorite events of the school year. And when it came time to find my own about a year ago now, I knew I wanted to make something. And I had an idea for a story that I could tell. I'm not going to get too much into the detail, but it was a science fiction story about a futuristic underwater New York City. And I thought that comic books would be the perfect medium to tell it in. I've always loved comics as a medium. It's an intersection of the imagery of film and other visual arts and the specificity of the written word. Uh, it's a bit simplistic, but I think of it as film shows, prose tells, and comics can do both, but only in single images, which the reader has to connect with their mind. I've been reading comic books with images like these for all of my life, and I wanted all of that freedom of spectacle and depth for my own story. But there was one problem. I didn't know how to make a comic book. More specifically, I didn't know how to draw one. So in July, I took a class at the Student Art League in New York City. The structure of the class, it's a square room about the size of one of the high school classrooms here. Uh, people at desks on all sides, and usually two people in the middle posing to give a reference for drawing. So it's a lot of basic figure drawing. This is just a fraction of the drawing fit in there, from two-minute sketches to 20-minute more detailed practices. Um, I got to experiment with brushes, pens, quills, all sorts of paints, but I always ended up going back to pencil as my weapon of choice. <laughs> Uh, I also learned there about the different ways you can tell stories in comic books. Uh, there are six primary transitions between panels and comics. A lot of them, the names are pretty self-explanatory. Moment to moment is just a moment apart, a small change in time. Action to action is one subject doing two things. Subject to subject is two things in the same scene. Scene to scene is two completely different locations or times. Aspect to aspect is a transition without time passing of two areas of the same scene. And finally, non sequitur, a transition between two images of no apparent relation. I should note that I did most of these images long after that class. I couldn't draw faces that well in July. Uh, in fact, the most dramatic lesson I learned there was that I had been right all along and I didn't know how to make a comic book. <laughs> so, at that point I realized that refining those skills, which I thought would be the first step of my senior project, was a big enough undertaking that it could and should be my entire senior project. So that's what it became. And as autumn came and went, I got used to my new focus, more on comic art and figure drawing than on making comics themselves. The best way to learn to draw something is to practice it again and again, and try to make it better every time. So that's what I do with people. I usually got my reference images from social media or the internet. So most of the faces you see are either going to be people I know, celebrities, or stock photos. When I'm drawing a full figure, I start with the face, because the proportions of the head are the hardest thing to scale for me. I start with a round outline, but then I fill in details that shape usually changes, or grows or shrinks. And once I have a head I'm happy with, it's just a matter of framing the body and filling in details. I spent a lot of time practicing specific body parts, like hands and feet, lots of hands and feet, to get a feel for the anatomy and the way that the two-dimensional image of them changes from different perspectives. I found that sort of repetitive action to be therapeutic after a while, especially with faces. Especially when my, especially, especially when my improvement was visible enough that I could see the resemblance between my drawings and the people that they were modeled after. So this is where my ability is now. Instead of working toward a physical product, as I'd originally intended, I've been developing a skill. And what that means is, although this speech marks the end of my formal senior project, <coughs> It's more a checkpoint than an ending for me, because barring catastrophe, I don't intend to stop drawing anytime soon. 
I'm more than satisfied with the progress that I've made over this year, but maybe I'll make my comic book one day, and maybe not. And for now, it's been a daunting and freeing process to keep going without a destination in mind. It's something I'm not used to, and it's something I plan to keep doing. Of course, I have some things. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. First and foremost, my wonderful mentor, Walter Simonson, with whom it has been a pleasure and an honor to work for these months. I think he's out there somewhere in the dark. <laughs> I thank also Ms. Nussbaum, my in-school mentor, for keeping me on track when I wouldn't have been, and for helping me realize how I wanted to present this process. And last but not least, I have to thank my parents, who have supported me completely through all stages and versions of this project, whether I needed help averting a crisis of confidence or just needed a ride to my mentor's house. I would not have made it here without them. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 